hello and welcome to the Nana journey and today is all about women with no friends and we're out there me included okay and on my TikTok it's um, nearly got a million views on that TikTok I recently said a woman with no friends is a very secure woman with a very healthy mindset and let me tell you it caused and triggered some and some were understanding it so and um yeah some very passionate responses but then there was also a lot of women out there that completely understood what I was saying and I for those women I want to talk about that a little bit more because it's not something that is necessarily seemed as the norm to have no friends as a woman it is much it's very much um, seen as a toxic trait. It's seen as you're a red flag. It is seen as you are somewhat obscure and not normal within society if you have no friends. And I just think that is a very kind of damaging narrative to put out there. Um, in the sense of that because there are many different variables and reasons to why maybe a woman has no friends and so yeah I just want to maybe share my experience as a woman with no friends and I wanted to share my experience as a woman with no friends and to just yeah shed light on it a little bit more so I've always been um, even when I remember when I was younger I've always been sh- well I remember when I was younger, I was very shy. Uh, I wouldn't even, I remember I used to go to like the corner shop. I would never even ask. I couldn't even speak to the the cashier people, whatever. I would have to ask family members to do so for me because I was just too shy to do it. And um, I mean, a very vivid memory of mine was when I was younger, I had a birthday party and kind of no one really turned up and yeah I think that kind of stuck with me um but yeah as long as I can remember I've always just been not one to have lots of friends I guess they would call me a loner maybe so I I guess that's kind of where it started with me really but I kind of want to fast forward this over to kind of like adulthood to be honest really because I think that's where the real stigma starts to happen is when you become an adult and you have conscious choice of things so you are actually in the decision process making so you are now in control of these decisions that you're making and that's why people find it very difficult uh, to understand why a woman would have no friends Um, they immediately will point the finger at you and say it's something you're doing that's um, that's basically deterring people to come near you and it's something you've got within you unhealed within you that is um, is causing this to happen and I want to be a voice to say that is not always the case and I honestly just can talk about my experience. Whenever I've had friends around me previously in the past, I've felt more lost, to be honest, than not having friends. I have felt a sense of not belonging. I have felt a sense of um, exhaustion. I have felt a sense of people pleasing. I have felt a sense of I am engaging in toxic behaviour. I have felt a sense of this is just not me. This is just not me. I'm being influenced. And I used to be someone that was very influenced by the crowd, by people. And I can admit that. I'll be the first to admit that. And... I think what I've learned along the way of spending now a lot of time by myself and I would say this is like five plus years now I really haven't had really solid friendships and um, well actually I'd say my whole life I've never really found that friendship that I've just wanted to 
you know, I really want to just feel vulnerable with someone. I want to be able to share and know that that other person is going to be completely there and happy for whatever comes along, your successes in life, um, your challenges, whatever it is. I want to be able to feel that I can share that and and to have that be a very um, sacred and genuine thing between women friendships and I just haven't experienced that yet and I think what happens is when I have shared things and I have um, you know try to kind of open up I've either felt um, not good about it like I genuinely I don't know I don't feel good about it to be honest or I feel like sometimes I've been given advice which is wrong I feel like I feel like maybe it's not been understood exactly where I'm coming from so I think from my experiences I've just learned that actually anytime I'm around friendships with women and I think women dynamics are so different to men's dynamics I've just found it to be my energy feels drained and this is not just one time this is multiple different times that I have felt the same experience with women and maybe at certain points in these phases I was also an unhealed person because why else would I be attracting this to me and I think what I've been able to do without having friends is I've been able to find out who I am I've really been able to take time to find out who are you because I really believe sometimes having friendships yes they're very salient very important and I'm not saying human connection I'm not saying human connection is not an important factor in life it is however I am saying that by not having friends I will become a better friend for someone else because by me not having friends I have taken the time to make that conscious courageous decision which it very much is because once you've made that decision that actually this time in my life I'm not going to have friends you're immediately being placed into a box of you're toxic you're a red flag there's something wrong with you so making that choice you have to be a very courageous woman to do that And if you're consciously making this choice, you've thought about this. This is not a decision you've just thought, oh, okay, no. You don't just cut people off for no reason. There is a reason why that is happening because you've identified and you've become self-aware enough to understand that this particular friendship group or particular friend is not in the best interest of you reaching the new version of yourself. And who you associate yourself with is going to affect the outcome of your life completely and me I don't know maybe I'm very different but I have found by not having women friendships around me and that's not to say I'm not a woman's woman I have found my life to be a lot more peaceful a lot more drama free a lot more stress free I feel lighter I feel that I can do things more I feel like I've been able to prioritize things um that I more in my life I also feel like I'm not engaging in gossip which most of the time is not necessarily a positive exchange of language and conversation within women dynamics it's tend to be filled with some kind of um you know drama fueled gossip and exchange and I don't want to engage in that you know conversation because I think that exchange is very energy sucking draining and so there are many different variables to why women have chosen not to have friends there are many different things i.e sometimes it's a house move sometimes you know you 
have moved from another city to another city and you have to start again. Sometimes it is because maybe you are dealing with certain things like anxiety and things like this and you will have other variables that don't allow you easily just to form friendships and to have that. Okay, that may be a reason as well. Other reasons could be like you've also changed as a person and you've now realised that the new version of who you want to be does not align with those past friendships and you in order for you to continue your growth you have to cut ties from that okay in order to you know develop and be around the circle that you want to be around but the narrative that these women that have no friends is just of oh, just toxic they're toxic they're toxic I, ju- I just think it's really really an unfair narrative to have and I do believe that there are many friends many women out there that have got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of friends and they have you know they can also have these traits you know I find by having lots of friends you know you you get lost in the the source you get lost in the you get lost in the group you get lost in the influence you get lost in the the pack you get lost in that mentality you I I honestly believe that having especially with women dynamics having having everyone agree on a certain topic and you be the individual to say "Mm," it's it's not something that's going to go down well in a women in a women's group it's not okay and for someone like me who's quite a deep person I like to have deep relationships with people and I'm very much yes I'm an introvert and I'm very much a one-on-one person and you know for me in a group um especially with women it's it's hard one to navigate and I think guys don't necessarily understand how different the dynamic actually is another thing is is that my experience with you know sometimes you know even if you for instance you're a woman right now I'm sure you've experienced one time where you've told someone good news and it hasn't gone down well And that is quite, um, also that is a very clear sign that maybe that is not the kind of people you want to associate with. Or when you have bad news or you're in a challenging situation, there seems to be some sense of happiness around that. And you will start to spot these things as you get more experience and as you get to know yourself a bit more. And as you're elevating and growing as a person, you will begin to spot these things. And you will. And once you spot them, you start to ask yourself, do I actually need this in my life? Do I want to surround my energy with this? And then you come to a place where when you have no friends, you understand the peace that you get from that. And if you can really understand the peace that you can get from that, it's really powerful to be able to sit in your own energy um, and comfort with that peace now I'm not saying that within that peace that does not bring loneliness or a sense of loneliness um for someone like me again I do believe I'm probably the extreme that I really really love my own company and I know it's um probably to the extreme than others and I know that um do I get days where I feel a sense of oh I would love to have that share that with someone yeah I I do I get I have times where I do feel that but it doesn't outweigh the times that I don't feel good in myself being being without friends you know so it's a difficult one for me because still with no friends at this moment in my life the the pros still outweigh the cons for me and I know some people are not going to understand that, I know, and I just want to explain that that is totally normal, it's totally normal, it is totally normal, if you're a woman right now, and you have no friends, I want to let you know, there's nothing wrong with you, you're not crazy, you're not a red flag, you are not, um, why, no, you're not, I'm, I'm just, it, it, I'm passionate about this, because it, it, you immediately put someone in a bracket of a of a person that is not a fully fully empathetic developed human being which 
I just don't agree. I think as a woman that with no friends, I'm a very empathetic person. I'm very sensitive and I and I have many qualities that would make a great friend to someone. And I truly believe that. So when I said that statement of um a woman with no friends is very secure with a very healthy mindset because the narrative is usually a woman with no friends is very insecure with an unhealthy mindset. So in order for us, us to have that narrative as a norm, you know, surely there is a polarizing opposite to that. Without good, there's no bad. You know, without bad, there's no good. So I just, I can't, I know from experience because I'm a woman with no friends and I know that I'm not um, toxic or a person like that. I'm not saying that um, I don't have these traits. We all have traits that we need to look at ourselves and we need to do that shadow work and we need to face our flaws we all have these flaws whether you have lots of friends or whether you don't have lots of friends we all have flaws but I do believe that I'm still will be an amazing friend for someone you know and yeah I am a very empathetic person I'm very sensitive to energies and I really love women's energy and it's not like I don't love a woman's energy. I would love to have a circle of friends. And many women with no friends, they want that too. They have just been in an experience where the experiences that they've had has not allowed them to have the peace that they've now understood that they have without having friends. And once you experience the peace that you have without having friends, you then... I believe are going through life just a bit more cautiously and a bit more conscious to the fact that energy is very important okay so that's why they're there you know it's not just a black and white thing it's not just as linear as oh she's got no friends she can't make friends oh she's toxic she's a red flag blah, 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 blah. no it's not just as linear there's people that work from home there's people that have babies and families at different phases in their life there's people that um you know have grown up in different households and have learned and had to unlearn different behavior patterns at different phases in their life to understand there's people that become new versions of their self at different points of their life there are there are people that you know have maybe have anxiety maybe have um adhd and all these other aspects to them that are causing these factors yeah but to say that a woman just has no friends and is toxic is not a, i don't think it's a healthy narrative to ha to have and yeah so i just want to speak about it because you know i'm very secure in myself i'm actually probably the most secure in myself that i've ever been not having friends than having friends when i had friends i was actually very insecure because when you've got friends you very like as a people please i was it is very um it's it's not as secure as you think it is in women friendships and I there is a sense of like I got lost with not knowing who I was just kind of following the crowd and not having your individual stance on things is is provides a sense of insecurity to who you are and actually having no friends you are being secure in that sense of there is a potential risk here of of when you have friendships around you there is a potential risk that when you have friendships around you that you may be put into situations, risky situations, situations that potentially are energy draining and situations that, you know, are not going to benefit you. So, um, yeah, you can feel still very insecure with lots of friends and you can still have a very unhealthy mindset with lots of friends. And you can still be very healthy and have a health you can still have a healthy mindset with no friends as well and i think the question is more so oh if you don't have friends you're toxic no the question is and even the question i'm saying to myself why don't i have friends okay so i think this is the question that i'm leaning more to why I don't I have friends reflect on why i don't have friends and i think the reflection is a good point and I think you'll find a lot of women with no friends have reflected on this a lot more than you think about. They reflect on this, trust me, daily. And they are very, very self-aware 
of their own flaws, but they're also very self-aware that the situation they're in is not one that they want long-term. No, they do want friends. It's not like these women with no friends. They hate women and they don't want friends. No, that is the wrong narrative. I really believe that. These women very much are women's women. These women are very much empathetic, kind, intelligent. These, they, they can have all of these traits, these women out there. And trust me, there are many of them. It's sometimes a situation that puts someone in a position where they have no friends. And sometimes you can't maintain these friendships long-term. Why can't you maintain them? And, oh, you don't have, this is another thing. Oh, you don't have the ability to maintain long-term relationships. Well, some of these ladies have the ability to maintain um, relationships with, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, their friend, but it could be other relationships that they've maintained, okay? And, I mean, we can apply that the same thing goes to, you know, with relationships. Oh, why haven't you maintained this relationship? You know, it, the same thing can apply. So, you've got to understand, people change. Situations change. You know, life changes. And people go on different paths sometimes. And sometimes you have to let go of that friendship, okay? For the betterment of yourself. And the betterment of even that other person or the other friend situation. And that is okay, okay? So I just want to let other women out there that have no friends know you are not losing the plot. You are not crazy. You're not a red flag. There's nothing wrong with you. You are very, I believe a very conscious person that is very consciously aware of why they have no friends and if you're not aware of why you've got no friends that's when you maybe start start having a look digging deep to find out what are these answers and me included I'm on that process as well and I think I've come to a point in my life where I'm very secure in myself now I I really understand of where I'm going what I want and what I can give to a friend which sometimes I felt that I couldn't give that before um and that is an insecurity of myself you know it's a flaw of myself thinking that I have nothing to give to someone else you know um but actually I do have things that I can give and you know and I don't always have to you don't always have to be the person you know it's okay to share as well it's I'm learning that it's okay to share it's okay to be vulnerable and there are women out there that will be able to um give that back and reciprocate that back to you you know um the way you need it to be and I think it's more about selection and women with no friends they are just very selective about what energy is going forward because they understand the importance of choosing the right friend and I think that's what it comes down to I think having lots of friends is very easy I could make lots of friends tomorrow and it would be very very easy for me to do so the key is I want to make sure I'm finding good friends. I want to make sure that I'm establishing a strong, good relationship. And I want to align, and I know now that the person I am now, the version of myself now, all the work and healing work I've done on myself and just the work I've done to understand my own flaws as well, I know is gonna be an amazing friend for someone. I am a better friend now than what I would be five or six seven years ago for sure and I'm actually excited now at this point in my life to take baby steps they are baby steps for me um to put myself in uncomfortable situations for me it's uncomfortable because I'm an introvert to try and make these friendships and because I do believe human connection and friendships is important and just having one friendship is enough for me I don't need more than that you know just one good woman friendship is enough for me and yeah and I'm in a really good place in my life to be able to receive someone else and also to give to someone else um also give someone the best version of myself so sometimes no friends is an amazing opportunity for you to take the time to grow to learn to under understand things and so just remember next time you hear that women have no friends they may be in an interim of understanding and question they are they are conscious trust me women with no friends they are looking at themselves and are trying to figure this out as well so um I just think we should stop being so harsh on women with no friends because there's many variables to go into 
why that situation has happened and again it's not as linear as you know is made out to be so any woman out there at the moment that has no friends I know sometimes it's very tough I know I know you feel like you're crazy I know you feel like you're a red flag I know you feel like there's something wrong with you and I just want to let you know there isn't and there are many women in your position me included I'm here speaking about it there are many many women that don't have friends okay and there are many women that don't have friends and are completely normal non-toxic people you know um yes we may have our flaws like everybody does even women with friends have flaws but there are many women out there with no friends like yourself like me that you know are just being very selective at the moment and that is okay there's nothing wrong with you once again and I just wanted to to voice this because I don't rarely see people talk about this I rarely see people talk about um the other side of it they only talk about having friends and you know and how amazing you know it's seen you see it over social media you see it everywhere all oh, friendships everyone's at weddings everyone's here everyone big group of people having fun. and that is amazing I'm just saying that that is not the case for everyone and that is okay and it doesn't mean that person is toxic at all and um yeah as an, and as I said look I'm not um perfect I'm taking baby steps as well. Even to this day, I'm taking baby steps. I and, and I know I am someone that has to push myself out of this comfort zone because I am fully aware I'm in a comfort zone of my own company. And look, I don't really want to say this, but I know people are gonna may say that this is wrong, but I feel kind of at peace with it. But I still can't ignore the fact that people would judge me for enjoying that I'm in my own company and you know I mean I still do believe one friend is important but I'm very comfortable and yeah I mean I don't know for me it's like even if I've had friends before I've still felt a sense of loneliness so having friends does not does not um dismantle the sense of loneliness that you potentially could have you can have that in a big French you could be like when you hear about famous people they're surrounded by all these people and they feel so lonely you know it's the same thing with friends you can be surrounded by a bunch of friends and you could be in that room and you feel completely lost and lonely it can happen so and it can happen when you're by yourself as well so so yeah also I want to let other women know that you now hopefully have heard my voice and another woman that's in your position and I really do hope that like the amazing comments that we've had on the TikTok video about this that we can have an open healthy discussion about this and open dialogue and I really want my voice I really want for other women that don't have friends to hear my voice as a woman that doesn't have friends to let you know that you're not alone and that this is a safe community this is a community now this here my comment section I'm what I'm hoping is that we're going to have women just really show themselves because I think it's so important for other women to support other women so if you're a woman right now and you've got no friends and you come across this podcast, you come across this video, you come across me, I really want you to, you know, feel like you're part of a community. Because I feel like once you feel like you're part of something, a community, you're not going to feel as lonely. The amount of response I got from one of the videos has made me understand that I, I felt this before, I knew I wasn't going to be alone saying this. I knew deep down that there are other women feeling like this. And once I see the other women understanding the points I'm saying, it's just amazing to know that there was a sense of community there, you know, and it does feel like there is a sense of belonging, belonging finally, you know, and women, if you've got no friends right now, 
like me and you come across this, just know that there are other women that also feel this and you are not alone. And I do hope that any woman that comes across this will comment, will will be able to share their experience if you want to. And I want you guys to see this and this video and this comment section or whatever the place as a place, as a community for us, for other women to know that there are other women there. And uh, I think you'll find a lot of like-minded women, actually. I think women with no friends uh, have similarity mindsets and how they're thinking. And I think it's great that you'll be able to find other women that don't have friends that are in that place as well. So yeah, um, I want you to see this as a community. I really do. And I would love all women that are in that position that have no friends to to really, if you can, comment, if you can, share an experience, if you can, just let's see how you're feeling. And I want you to feel that this is a place where you can be heard, seen and not judged because there are many people that will judge you for not having friends. And I just want to let you know, this is a place where you won't be judged. And I want to let you know that even if you've got no friends right now and you're not in the best way, this is going to be a great place for you, especially, hopefully in the comment section, there'll be other women there and you will be able to see other women and how they're feeling and maybe be able to exchange in, you know, conversation there with other women. So, you know, and I would love for you guys to, um, I'll be going live on TikTok and things like that so we can talk about this as well. So, yeah. Yeah. I really would like you to feel like you belong to something and I do but also believe that you know the next steps would be yeah we can try and identify what that good friend would be and what that good friend would look like because I know you women do want that just even if it's one I know you guys because it's me as well you just want that one friend and I think we need to start taking baby steps me included and we need to start facing um that it's never going to be perfect okay we may never find that perfect friend and this is what I'm coming to terms with and we have to push ourselves out um I think of that protective energy to a little point um to find that one um you know just like finding the one in life you know that love that one that's you know it takes time and it takes um and it takes vulnerability you know to do so and it takes a sense of trusting and yeah so we can get there women and this is the first step and the first step is to 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 know that you know things can change we all know things can change in a day and this doesn't need to be reality for the rest of your life but if you have no friends right now it's okay stop being so hard on yourself there is a community here of other women that also feel the same and me included I'm a woman with no friends and please listen to my voice and know you're not alone okay and yeah I that's what I want to say and I'm not sure if my message is coming across as much as I really am wanting it to come across but yeah I just wanted to talk about it I mean for me to talk about being a woman with no friends and publicly saying this is it was not just something so easy for me to do because I already knew that people were going to come for me and say you're toxic oh you're 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 the problem it's you 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 you. I I knew this was coming uh but I am very secure in myself to know who I am as a person and what my intentions are behind it um and even even if someone doesn't believe that for me that's I can't really change that too much but I really know my intentions of what I'm doing saying that and in that I just hope other women feel a sense of belonging a sense of community and a sense of okay I'm not so alone and even to know that another woman is publicly saying she has no friends that hearing some other woman say that honestly is gonna make you feel less ostracized less like a red flag less like you're going crazy okay and it allows for room for other women to feel like they're in a community and feel like they're they're there with you as well and that is I believe the first step into normalizing this we need to start normalizing women having no friends and not being a red flag 
we need to because there's many circumstances to why and many variables to why that person is in that position and it's not just as black and white as she's toxic it's not so we need to start normalizing this or just normalizing the conversation around women having no friends and being able to openly share their feelings their thoughts their experiences how they're feeling without being judged and um yeah and I think it's uh, uh look I'll be the poster girl for that look I'm here I'm talking about it I'm a woman with no friends I'm happy to be that that voice for other women um to normalize this a little bit more because um th- there are wonderful women out there that have no friends wonderful women out there that have no friends and they are ready to be an amazing friend for someone and they have got amazing qualities that would definitely be an amazing friend one day and just to say that they're all toxic is just um just I think it's very unfair and um so yeah women with no friends you're not crazy you're not a red flag you're just taking your time, you're being selective, you're protecting your energy, I understand. And look, there are other women like you, you're not alone. I'm a woman with no friends and I would love to hear from other women with no friends and let you know that here is a place, a community, and hopefully you will see in the comment section there are lots of other women in your position. So you're not gonna feel so alone. And You need to see that to know that you're not alone. And I think it's the first step to facing it a little bit better. So I hope women with no friends, you felt you heard me a little bit there. And I would love to hear what you guys think about it. And women with friends, you can obviously join the conversation as well. And um, I just want this to be hopefully a more a positive conversation. And I'm not saying that you know there's going to be some pushback on this probably but I just want it to just be a healthy conversation that we can have and yeah women no friends you're not alone and um yeah just even women with friends look we're all women at the end of the day trying to figure out life you know and I just think women need to stick with women regardless and you know we all have different phases in life and that is okay so yeah anyway all women you're wonderful you know I love women even though I have no friends as women I've really (laughs) champion women because I really believe women um bring so much to other women and um yeah so please feel free to comment below I've got a tiktok the nana journey please go and check that out um and yeah, we'll just keep growing and glowing and, you know, and as I said, this is a, this is a place, a community for women to, to openly express themselves to how they want to. And um, you've got this, okay? Anyway, I'm going. Have a lovely day, evening. And um, yeah, this is the Nana journey comment below let's see if um the women will be there (laughs) and yeah comment below and follow this channel um i'd love to grow this i'd love for i would love for um us to be a strong women community here and i would love yeah to just keep growing and sending a positive message out and just sharing our experiences and journey as we go through life together because that's what we're doing in life We're just trying to make it through day by day. (laughs) Okay, love you all. Um, My name is Nana. This is the Nana Journey. And have a lovely evening. And stay positive and keep growing and glowing, ladies.